Well, after one week of budgeting the household expenses, Jane Ace came out with a $13 loss. Mr. Ace, of course, is not pleased. He feels the $25 he gives her weekly should pay for everything and even leave her a profit. Our scene now is the Ace's bungalow about 11 in the morning, beginning the second week of budgeting. And we find Jane with her maid, Laura. Listen. Now, starting today, Laura, I'm going to do the marketing myself every day. I have to watch every cent we spend and find out where the money goes. So I'm going to the grocery store now. Yes, and now, is this all we need? You sure you didn't leave out anything? Oh, no, ma'am. I think everything's there. But I don't think you ought to bother about buying everything, ma'am. If you could give me the money, I could go. Oh, no. Miss Ray said we tried that last week and it didn't work out. Do you know that we had a loss of $13 running the house? $13, I declare. Well, Miss Dray said that's terrible. No business can run like that. Not long, anyhow. So I said, well, if I had more money, I could do better. And he said, it's not how much you have to spend, it's how you spend it. So from now on, I'm going to spend it as little as I can. Yes, ma'am. We tried to figure out where all the money went, but we couldn't. He said, that's because I don't keep track very good. And that's another thing. Are you sure you kept track of everything you spent last week, Laura? Oh, yes, ma'am. Well, I don't know where the money goes. It goes somewhere. Yes, ma'am. Well, I'll be very careful when I go marketing. I'm going to shop around first and see where I can get things cheap. When I sent you to the store, you just paid what they asked you. Yes, ma'am. Well, I'll shop around first. And if it's something too high, I won't buy it. I think maybe we've been eating too much anyhow. Too many vegetables, I think. Well, tonight we're only having sliced tomatoes. We could cut out the tomato juice. What? But as long as we're having tomatoes, do we need tomato juice? Oh, tomatoes, tomatoes. We'll talk about that later. Well, I have to hurry now. Oh, uh, another thing, Laura. Yes, ma'am. If the man comes about buying those two old suits of Miss Ray's, make him wait till I come back. Uh, yes, ma'am. I won't be long. He should have been here yesterday. Are you sure he didn't come? Oh, yes, ma'am. I'm sure he didn't come. Oh, I called up and they said they'd buy the two suits and three hats. Have you got them in the closet? Yes, ma'am. The kitchen closet. Well, just keep them there till the man comes. You can let him look at them till I come back. And don't tell him how much we want. Maybe I can get more. I have to try to get, get as much extra money in every week as I can. Now, imagine $13 lost. Well, I declare. He said he'd try me one more week. He gave me the $13 to pay for everything we had left over from last week, and I'm starting all over again with another $25. So far, I haven't spent anything, and I'm not going to till I'm sure it's not too much to spend for it. Well, I'm off, Laura. Yes, ma'am. What? Uh, nothing, ma'am. Well, go ahead and do your housework. If the man comes about the old suits, make him wait till I come back. I will, ma'am. I won't be long. Harry, you wouldn't come out here. What's the matter? She's going, ain't she? Yeah, I know, but if she ever found you here, I'd lose my job. Then what? Then we'd both be out of a job, that's all. Were you standing there by that door all that time and listening? Yeah, I heard what she said. Especially about the old suit. Oh, yeah. Now, Harry, you got to take it off. The man's coming to buy the clothes today. You said you only wanted to wear it yesterday so you could go look for a job. I had a lie to her and tell him the man wasn't here yesterday. You know he was here. And I told him to come back tomorrow. Well, I got to tomorrow then, sugar. Ah, stop it, Harry. Today's tomorrow. Now, go on. Change back to your old suit. I hid it in the garage. Go on, Harry. But I thought I'd wear it to the picture show tonight. Well, Oh, I don't know about the picture shows anymore, Harry. You see how strict she is about the money nowadays. Oh, she won't miss a little change here and there. Oh, yes, she would. You heard her say she's going to watch every penny. It was different till they started this keeping track of everything. Yeah, that kind of put a hitch in things, didn't it? Whose idea was that? That was Mr. Aces. He's awful strict with her. He wants to know where all the money goes. That's why she went shopping herself this morning. I won't be able to save any extra money if she keeps on doing that, Harry. I used to be able to make a few dollars extra like that, but I won't be able to now. Well, she lets you pay for some of the things, don't she? Well, yeah, like the paper boy and things they bring to the house. Well, you ought to be able to rake off a little there, babe. Uh, stop it, Harry. I hate to do it. Why not? They don't pay you half what you're worth. Oh, they do so. Nah, they don't any such thing. Why, with the kind of meals you cook... Say. I wish I was cooking them for you, Harry. 
But you do, sugar. Uh, stop it, Harry. Of course, they don't know you do. Oh, I mean, I was always cooking them for you at our own house. Well, now, Laura, you know we're going to have our own house someday. We are? You mean that, don't you, Harry? Sure. Haven't I been taking you out steady now for two months? Yes, you have, Harry. I just haven't gotten any breaks lately. No good breaks, anyhow. If you could only find a job. That's just it, babe. I thought by letting you wear Mr. Ace's old suit yesterday, you'd sure find a job. Yeah, looks pretty neat, don't it? You look handsome, Harry. Yep, I think it's okay. I wonder how that other one, that, that tan suit, would look on me. Oh, I couldn't do that, Harry. And and I had to take this one back, too. You heard it say the man would be here today to buy them. Uh, you can stall them off another day or so, babe. I don't know. You heard it say they're going to be awful strict around here. I don't know if I'll have even enough left over from the meals to feed you anymore, either. Oh, now, babe, have a heart. Oh, it's not as if I wouldn't like to. But if they're going to start watching every cent and they won't let me do the marketing anymore, well, I don't know where I'll get the money for everything like I've been doing. Imagine her neighbor. Why, she acts like she don't trust you. Oh, she does. She knows I wouldn't take anything that wasn't mine. She doesn't know what I've been giving you. You got any change on you now, Laura? Oh, no. She just got the house money from the mister yesterday. She hasn't given me anything yet. They got an awful strict around here. You heard it say they had a $13 loss last week. And if they start finding out how much money I spent and how much I should have had left over, gee, that scares me. I hate to be taking all that money. You're not taking it. Well, everybody's got a right to make a little something extra on the side, babe. Look what they're paying you. Eight dollars. Now, how do they expect you to live on that? That's why you gotta be smart and make a little something extra. It ain't like you're just taking something that don't belong to you. When you say it like that, Harry, it don't seem so wrong. But it's just that I worry a little about it. Especially when she keeps telling me about that $13 loss. Who took $13? Not you. Oh, no. I don't think I'd give you more than about $3 a week. About $3.50. Well, I don't know where she lost that other money. But she don't know about having an extra person to cook for. Meaning me? Yeah, because you got an awful big appetite, Harry. Well, it wouldn't have for the food you cook, babe. Ah, oh, now, Harry, stop it. Who's your boyfriend, Laura? You are, Harry. That a girl. Now, look, we made a date to take in a picture tonight. we got to have some money. Isn't she going to give you any change at all? I don't know what for. I can't ask her for well, it. No, you, you can't ask her. But look, isn't there something you need? Something you ought to buy around a house, only you don't have to buy it? What do you mean? You know, like that new waffle iron you told you you wanted a couple of weeks ago. And you went and polished up the old one, just like new. Something like that. Oh, well, we do kind of need a new ironing board. Ah, that girl. Now, you tell her you need a new ironing board. Tell her you want to get a good one. Only you get a cheap one. You've got to be smart nowadays and make whatever you can. Oh, dear, she comes back from the grocery store. Hurry. Okay. I'll see you at dinner, sugar. Well, I don't know if there'll be enough left over with her market. Oh, any. sure there will. So long, babe. And don't forget the iron for it. Laura. Yes, ma'am. Well, I got back. Yes, ma'am. Well, I did a lot of shopping around. I think I did much better than you did. I don't know where all the money went that you used to spend. Uh, the groceries and everything will be here pretty soon. Well, was he here? Yes, ma'am. He just went... Uh, uh, who? Who? Was well, the man for the clothes. Oh, him. Oh, uh, no, ma'am. He wasn't here. Well, who did you think I meant? You said, yes, he just went. Oh, I didn't know what you meant, ma'am. No, ma'am. Nobody was here. Oh, I thought of something else while I was coming home. Why didn't I think of it before? <clears throat> you remember last week I asked Marge for more money for a room and board, and she said she couldn't afford to pay any more. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> well, after she told me what she makes and how much she has to spend for clothes and everything, I felt so sorry for her, I cut her room and board for five dollars. But I got to thinking if she made more, she could pay me more, couldn't she? Oh, yes, ma'am. I guess she could. Sure she could. But you know how she is. She wouldn't think of asking her boss for a raise, no matter how much she needed it. 
Well, I'm going to see him and tell him how much Marge needs a raise. She worked awfully hard there. He'll give it to her. Yes, ma'am. I'll go up and see him tomorrow. I think I'll call him up and make an appointment. But I want to get there when Marge is out to lunch. That's about 12 o'clock. Uh, call him up for me, will you, Laura? Yes, ma'am. What's the number? Uh, South 43... Uh... You'll find the rest of it in the phone book. Yes, ma'am. I'll look it up. Oh, wait. I think I have it written down in my book of numbers. Wait. Yes, here it is. South 4320. I'll call him myself, Laura. You better do the housework till the groceries come. Yes, ma'am. Oh, ma'am, I have the ironing to do today. Well, go do it. Well, I wanted to talk to you, ma'am, about buying a new... Oh, house. buying something else. I never saw money go so fast. Oh, wait till I get through and I'll talk... Uh, hello? Is uh, Mr. Simmons in, please? He's where? In a board meeting? Well, can't he come out and talk to... He can't be disturbed? Oh, well, I'll call him later. He's in a board meeting, whatever that is. I guess it's important. Well, I'll call him later. Yes, ma'am. Now, uh, what was it you were saying, Laura? What do you want to buy? Well, I think we ought to have a new ironing board. A new ironing board? Are you sure? I hate to spend the money around here for new things all the time. Oh, yes, ma'am, I'm sure. Well, can't you use the ironing board we've got for a little while, especially this week? Because if we have another loss... Oh, who's that now? Uh, answer it, will you, Laura? Yes, ma'am. I have to figure out how much it's going to cost. Hello? Uh, let me talk to Mrs. Ace, Laura. It's for you, ma'am. Oh, um, uh, who is it? It's Mr. Ace, I think. Oh, uh, well, tell him, uh, tell him I'm in an ironing board meeting. I'll call him later. Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Ace is in an ironing board meeting. She'll call you later. Oh, uh, what? What's going on there, what? Well, Jane's trying to run the home on a business-like basis at that. And at least we know where some of the money has been going. Just how soon the Aces find out, we'll learn when next we meet the Easy Aces.